Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to manage your orders and sales in the Magento platform. So first of all when you log into the Magento platform on the dashboard it gives you uh, an overview of what's happening within the business, within the online business. Like over here you can see the lifetime sales so that's just the big figure that will come over there. Then you've got average orders amount but then over here you've got a quick list of the last five orders. So you can actually click on one and it'll take you to the orders. And then you've got some search terms, what, what types of searches are being carried out on the website. And then on the right hand side, you've got a graph which shows the sales that have been made. So you can select it based on orders, so the figure number of orders, or you can change it to amount. So it'll show the prices on the left hand side and the graph of how much amount is being uh, how much revenue is being generated, how much shipping cost, and the amount of quantities that's uh, that's actually happening within the website. So if we then you can select last seven days, and uh, over here you will see the last seven days. So let's go back and click uh, navigate your way to sales and click on orders. Now over here you'll be able to see the orders that have been processed or that have been uh, placed by individuals on your website. Um, you can see the status over here, um, so the completed and then you've got the pending ones. So what you do, you click on the latest ones that you want to view and it'll open up information about that product. So here you've got the order date and it's got the time um, and you've got the customer name, the purchased from, so it's purchased from the main website. Uh, this is mainly if you've got multiple multiple e-commerce stores um, to manage, so that's where, but here's just one. Then you've got the billing information, shipping address, so you've got all the main information, um, and then uh, you've got the status of the order. You can put some notes here um, by yourself, and then once you're happy with this order, is fine. What you need to do is you can click on uh, invoice. Now, generally, uh, an email gets sent out when an order is placed anyway. Um, like I've just got this email over here. So here's an email uh, which gives me an overview of uh, the order that I've just placed. So I've got the information, the contact details and of course information about my order. So now we need to click on send um, invoice. So you click on invoice and this will now invoice the customer so the customer will actually have a, like an official invoice and also it'll allow you to print an invoice uh, uh, print an invoice based for your records so this is an invoice you're happy with everything um, if you want to create um, a shipment amount like add a tracking number in there um, you can do so um, if you need to change anything you can update the quantities over here if you if that needs be also you can put some comments um, but for the customer once you're happy with everything, you can click on um, email copy of invoice to the customer and click on submit invoice. Now this order has now officially been um, invoiced to the customer. So that doesn't mean that um, the reason why this has been invoiced is because the, the, the way this order was placed was cash on hand. Now if you're using a payment gateway, automatically the invoice will be generated and automatically the invoice will automatically be sent to the customer once the payment has been successfully made. So it depends on what sorts of payment methods you've got on the website, then you'll have to do this. But if it's all automated, then you don't really need to send an invoice. Automatically that will be sent. But now you've got again an overview of that order. And then on the left hand side, um, you've got invoices. Um, so the different types of invoices that are here. If there's a credit that needs to be added, so you can put a credit memo here. Um, click on credit memo and um, you can then uh, add any credit amounts for that particular um, order. You can put that over here, credit memo comments. And then, for example, you're going to refund maybe the shipping, uh, maybe change the price by uh, adjustment of refund of uh, £10, maybe if you're charging a fee, and then you can click on refund. So that's the refund then. <clears throat> And then uh, if we go back to orders, go back. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's say you've posted this product out and uh, you want to inform your customer that the product's been shipped. Um, you just need to click on the ship button over here at the top and uh, that will allow you to put a tracking code. So it depends on what type of uh, postage that you're using. Uh, you can add a tracking code. So you've got your own custom. So for example, if this is Royal Mail, for example, you put the Royal Mail tracking code. If it's DHL, FedEx, you, you know, depends on how, what sort of uh, postage service that you're using on your website. You select the one and you put the tracking code. Um, so we'll just select with custom because we haven't got one. And click on add tracking code. That's it. That's done. So again, email copy of shipment and click on submit shipment. So now this will also inform your customer that the order has been shipped. And also the status of this order will now move into the completion stages of your order. So you'll see what happens once uh, this page gets refreshed. <clears throat> so over here you've got the status now shows complete. Now that's the status of this order. And then here you've got a quick history. So the payment was, the pay order was done at 10.30. 10.39 it was processing. Uh, and then at um, 10.41 it's complete. So the order has actually been shipped out now. And then you've got the tracking reference number, which you can click on track order, which then opens up. <clears throat> but over here again, you've got the custom, uh, custom comments history. You've got the history of the comments and the shipment so that this shipment's gone. So if you go back to sales and click on orders, <clears throat> again, it'll show a list of all our orders, but then it'll show complete. This is the order that we're working on. That's complete. So these two are still in process. So again, just to make things easier, if we want to um, put a filter in place, so we can just change the filter and uh, we can click on uh, pending ones, for example, and click on submit or click on search to see if we can find any pending orders. So there's nothing pending there. Um, if we click on completed and click on search, so these are all completed orders that are there. So if we go back here and click on search, so you can select the status of the orders. So based on that, you can then work on this page accordingly. Again, if you click on sales and um, invoices, this will show all of your invoices that have been generated. So if it's done automatically, or if you've actually had to generate an invoice, it will all come up under the invoice section. And uh, one good thing about Magento is it allows you to export. So you can export in an XML file or even a CSV file for your own records. So here we've got the two orders that we've done. Uh, this is the one that we were working on recently, 1st of June. Uh, and if we click on this, it allow you us to print an invoice for our records, or maybe we want to send it to the customer along with the delivery in the in the postage, maybe. Um, all I have to do is click on print, and this will print the invoice for uh, the pop-up will come up for us to print the invoice. And there we go. There's the invoice for us to print. So we've got all the information here, the order number, and um, we've got uh, based on the SKU, price, quantity. This is full information which we could send out to the customer if needed. And if you go back, <coughs> again, we can click on sales and click on shipments. This will show all our shipments that have gone. So we can keep an eye on what's happening with those orders. So here we go. If we click on this, this order here, which is again today's order. And uh, so this order is basically completed. And again, if the customer hasn't received it, so we can send the tracking information uh, and click OK. And this again will send the tracking information, this one here, to the customer. So that's the tracking information that's been sent. Um, if we click on credit memos, this will show a list of all our credit memos. And then transactions, this will show a list of our transactions. We've got nothing in there at the moment. So if we go back to our dashboard, now this quantity over here, which was one, now is showing two. The reason why it's showing two now 
is because that other order is now we've actually received the payment because it's, it was invoiced. Now, if that was done automatically through the payment system that we've got on the website, then these figures will automatically update accordingly. So that's how you manage the sales sections and the orders of on your website. I hope you found this beneficial. Thank you for watching.